Those who have died of AIDS were remembered during a candlelighting in Prince Albert. Staff at Access Place, the Combination Sexual Health Clinic, had a moment of silence during World AIDS Day. While the staff wanted to remember those who have died, they are also looking with hope towards the future. What we really want to emphasize is that HIV is a long-term treatable illness. It's not necessarily a death sentence. People who uh, are detected early, diagnosed early, get treatment earlier, and uh, they tend to live quite a bit longer. We have many patients here who have been diagnosed and managed and treated, and they are alive 10, 15 years down the road. And, um, you know, in the, in the beginning, uh, treatment was not that way. But we've made uh, uh, many changes and we've made many, many miles of progress. World AIDS Day is celebrated each December 1st in order to reduce stigma and discrimination associated with HIV and AIDS. I think uh, the big message is it's a really hard virus to catch. And it's not about a group of people. It's about the behaviors that people participate in. So it's not about blaming, it's just the drug users or it's just this group of people or that group of people. It's the behaviors that you participate in and just saying, you know, it's a hard virus and people with HIV um, have a chronic long-term manageable illness and should not be feared. HIV and AIDS have affected more than 40 million people worldwide. Here in Canada, one person is infected every two hours. The realities of HIV in North America alone are, are that 40 million people are 40, well, it's 40 million people worldwide, I think, are, are living um, with HIV right now. So it's 60,000 people are living with HIV in Canada. It is a North American disease, not yeah, just an African disease. Yeah. In Prince Albert, I'm Angela Hill.